One of the people they did lie about is Stanford Dr. Jay Bhattacharya, professor, Stanford School of Medicine, that Twitter blacklisted from their trends list without telling him or uh, anyone else. Uh, Doc, as you read through all of this, what was most surprising to you? I mean, I was really surprised that Twitter would take on itself the suppression of scientific discussion. I mean, I've not been abusive. I, I, I'm, I don't think I've said a single swear word on any of the platforms. I, I, I've joined Twitter about a year ago, mainly to share scientific data and my thoughts about uh, school openings, the harms to children from lockdown. And, and frankly, I'm not even sure it's political. Like it's, I was basically arguing for the Swedish approach, which is a you know a left wing. A, a, a more socialist kind of a kind of thing toward school openings and, and lockdowns. Um, I, I mean, something like the Swedish approach. I, I was shocked to find myself. I mean, in some sense, shocked to find the confirmation of myself on this uh, this list, uh, this this sort of blacklist. I, it, uh, I, I think that Twitter kind of, if it if it thought of itself as a free speech vehicle, why would it be, uh, reduce the visibility of a prominent? Uh, just point of view on the lockdowns. It makes no sense. Um, the the, the I, obvious that, answer to that, right, is, is political, is that, they, that they, they sort of were taking a political side in this debate and certainly taking one side of the scientific uh, debate. One, one of your tweets, uh, mortality from COVID-19 differs more than a thousandfold between young and old. Focus protection is the compassionate approach that balances COVID risks and collateral damage to public health. We now know you're right because there's been enormous collateral damage to public health and to, to children's development and on and on and on. Beside the point, um, how do you do? You feel like this is just an issue about you that makes it unfair, or are you on the side of Dan Bongino, Charlie Kirk, and to a certain extent President Trump, who were all also banned from Twitter? I, I mean. <laughs> My, I don't, I've never signed up for a political party, Lewis. I mean, I, I, I'm a public health scientist. I work for uh, for the people, um, and sometimes my my uh, thoughts are taken up by the left. Sometimes it's by the right. During the pandemic, in the United States, it's been associated with a right wing position. If, if I was writing in Sweden, it'd been associated with a left wing position. It's just my thoughts about how the best way to manage the pandemic to reduce the, to, to minimize the harms to children, the poor, and the working class. Uh, you know, uh, I've been part of this lawsuit that that was brought by the Louisiana and Missouri Attorney General's offices against the Biden administration. Um, what, what that lawsuit has uncovered is do, a dozen federal agencies essentially telling Twitter the content of what COVID policies should be should be censored, uh, sometimes even people to be censored. Uh, uh, and, you know, it's, it's, I think, not an accident that I showed up in the, the, in the blacklist. I was arguing for policy that's very different than the policy that the Biden administration followed regarding COVID. Um, and to see that Twitter did this, it's really hard to believe that they did it just entirely on their own. Yeah, they we're, were, we're actually, it, it, is, it is difficult to believe they did it entirely on their own, and at least what's coming out now uh, is that there was a lot of conversation, as you pointed out, with the White House, uh, the, the Biden White House, in terms of what policies could be talked about, but also uh, as it related to the banning of President Trump uh, from Twitter, a lot of conversation with the FBI and others uh, before January 6th about that decision. Uh, Doc, we appreciate you coming on. Thank you. It's the first time we've talked. I've been a longtime fan of your work, whether or not I agree or disagree with you. It's, it's an important perspective to hear. Uh, we appreciate you being here, and you're welcome back anytime, sir. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.